Have you ever dreamt about your own action movie? My own action movie? What, being the female star? You bet, absolutely. We, I did a scene the other night, actually, with a kind of, kind of Robocop kind of costume. Um, in, in one scene I have in, in The World's End, uh, the film I've just finished with Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright. And, I can't really say much more about it, but the whole costume, I thought, inspired a, a whole new character in her own film, and, you know, I've, I've kind of dropped hints. <laughs> Sounds amazing. I remember you as uh, Miranda Frost in Day Another Day, and uh, this has been the year of 007, so have you been celebrating? Yeah, absolutely, but I couldn't, um, I couldn't make the premiere, which I was very disappointed about. I was on holiday in Greece, and... I tried to change my flight and I couldn't change it. There were no flights. Everyone was obviously going to the premiere. But, um, no, that was something I, I, I really would like to have seen. And I, um, because I've got a small child, I haven't actually seen the film. So, uh, Can you tell us something about your uh, Day Another Day experience with James Bond movie? Oh, goodness. I mean, it was a sort of surreal, wonderful, dizzy time. I mean, it was... It was it was, everything was like a fantasy. I mean, the sets were incredible. I and mean, you've just never seen anything like the size of the 007 stage at Pinewood. I mean, the thing is vast. I mean, we did a whole car chase inside the soundstage. The Ice Palace was built, you know, structurally able to take the weight of, you know, an Aston Martin and a Thunderbird. You know, un unbelievable. Um, and just, the, you know, the, the, the scale of everything, the whole world of Bond, what goes with it, it's... It's unbelievable. But then, you know, what's refreshing about Jack Reacher is that, you know, Bond is a guy who really appreciates all the material things in life. He loves the fine champagne, he loves his watches, he loves the brands. Jack, Jack Reacher doesn't give a toss about any of that. And he's a sort of, it's wonderful because it's a completely different type of hero. And, and I think the women in, in, in the Jack Reacher series, should it become a franchise, will be very, very different from the Bond girls because... You know, Bond women are fantasy creations. What Lee Child, the writer of these novels, um, looks at is, is what's sexy in, in the real, in what's sexy in the real woman. And, I, and I, I kind of love that. I think women read the Jack Reach novels and think, yeah, I like to be observed like that. I'm glad he's kind of noticing my eyes or my smile or the kind of way I, I don't know, eat my toast. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Jack Reacher, what's the best and the worst thing working with Tom Cruise? Um, goodness, uh, what's the worst thing about working with Tom Cruise? Probably just sort of hoping that you don't screw up and hoping that you can keep up with his pace. I mean, it's like the guy doesn't need sleep. I and mean, it really genuinely is extraordinary. He, he would work all night shooting action sequences in the second unit and come to our first unit on one hour's sleep. And you think, well, you know, God forbid I yawn or anything because, you know, I might have had six hours sleep but I'm really going to show myself up if I look remotely tired and Tom's had an hour of sleep, you know. So he's, he's, he's amazing. And, I mean, the best thing, there are so many wonderful things about Tom is, I mean, he's amazingly sort of empowering. He, he kind of, he has amazing energy and he gives it to everybody. And, and it's a gift. He makes you feel... Like you can do anything, and it's very generous. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello. Good evening.